sales orders a sales order is a document that a business creates when a customer places an order for goods or services it typically includes information such as the products or services being ordered the quantity and price of each item the delivery or completion date and any applicable taxes or fees Sales orders are typically used to track customer orders and to ensure that the correct goods or services are provided in a timely manner. They can also serve as important record keeping documents and may be used to generate invoices or other financial reports. Customer sales order is a document and no accounting entries associated with customer sales orders. However, you can reserve sales order items. You can change these settings from item settings. You can enter customer sales orders from customers, transactions, customer sales orders. Click add sales orders. Select the customer from the drop down menu. After you select the customer, system will display customer balance, customer credit limit. If addresses or VAT numbers available, system will display. System will generate the document number. If you have any customer reference, you can enter under customer reference. If you have already given in quotation for this customer, you can select the quotation from the drop down menu and system will display those items. If you want, you can manually enter items if you select item as type you can select inventory items if you select account as type you can select gl accounts When you select item, system will display item code, item description, and quantity on hand. If you already set item prices, system will display item price. If you check this use inclusive amount, system will display inclusive amounts. If you uncheck, system will display exclusive amount if customer has taxes you can select tax rates and if you are giving any discounts you can enter discount percentage or discount amount system will calculate tax amount and total amount if you have created any analysis code, you can select analysis codes. If you already have given any sales orders for this customer previously, you can use same sales order for this new sales order. You can add your items. And if you want to add more lines by clicking this plus mark, you can add. If you want to delete any line by clicking this red color button, you can delete. If you enter discount here in heading, system will display discount. 
and if you enter discount in line items system will display total after deducting the discount we can view the total discount taxes and total This document message you can set from company change settings. Go to company, change company settings. Document and statements, customer document messages. You can change from here or if you set any document message it will display in the transaction if you want to change you can change here you can set document numbers from document numbers and you can set the number here If your company has uh, several more than one user system will display as number here and if your system has only one user in this system only one user available therefore it will display the number This is transaction date and if you promise any delivery date you can set the delivery date after that you can save the sales order or you can print or email we will save this sales order After you create sales orders, you can view the sales orders list. You can view customer number, sales order number, customer reference, date, total, printed, status of that sales order. You can customize this grid by clicking the settings button. Select customize grid. If you want to add any column, you can check that field if you want to remove any column you can uncheck that column you can sort this grid by clicking these headings you can sort by ascending or descending order You can search documents. You can filter. You can sort by multi columns. And if you want, you can export to CSC file. You can view number of sales order display in here. Furthermore, there are a few status for sales orders. overdue invoice pending invoice means if you have converted any sales order to invoice status will change to invoice and uh, if you have sent any sales orders 
you haven't delivered within the promised date, system will display status as overdue. Pending is you have sent the sales order. However, still sales order not yet reached the delivery date. Those sales orders status will change to pending. There are few buttons, inactivated buttons. If you select any sales order, those buttons will activate. You can delete those sales orders. If you want to print, you can select those sales orders and print and you can email sales orders. From this actions button, you can preview sales order, you can print, you can email. If you want to edit or delete, you can edit or delete. And if you want to convert this sales order to an invoice, you can convert. If you want to copy, same sales order you can copy this and from view history you can view the history of this sales order you can view created person date and user if you edit this sales order you can view that details also we'll do some modifications for this sales order View history. You can see that action is edited, date, user available, and price changes. You can view the previous price and current price. And if you enter any sales order for foreign customer, system will display the exchange rates. From here you can view the exchange rate and if you select any item system will display that item price in customers currency and home currency total also system will display in customers currency and home currency From these options, you can enter defi user defined fields. You can attach documents. You can attach up to 2 MB and 5 attachments per document. You can add notes to this document. You can convert this sales order to an invoice or you can copy this sales order. Like this, you can enter customer sales orders. When you are setting your company settings, if you reserve sales order quantities, you can go to general settings, item settings. There's the option sales order reserve item quantities. If you check this checkbox, system will reserve these sales orders quantities. If you uncheck, system will not reserve item quantities.
if you have reserved you can view those re reserved report from item reports go to items reports item quantities From here, you can view reserved quantities. If you want to reserve quantities, before enter sales orders, you need to change the settings. You need to change this sales order reserve item quotations checkbox. After that, when you enter sales orders, system will reserve the item quantities.